employees have claimed that your company was a hostile workplace for women. When you were confronted about it, you admitted making sexually suggestive remarks, saying, quote, that's the way I grew up. In a lawsuit in the 1990s, according to the Washington Post, one former female employee alleged that you said, quote, I would do you in a second. Should Democrats expect better from their nominee? Let me, let me say a couple things, and have, if I can have my full minute and a quarter, thank you. Um, I have no tolerance for the kind of behavior that the Me Too movement, movement has exposed. And anybody that does anything wrong in our company, we investigate it, and if it's appropriate, they're gone that day. But let me tell you what I do in my company and my foundation and in city government when I was there. In my foundation, the person that runs it's a woman, 70% of the people there are women. In my company, lots and lots of women have big responsibilities, they get paid exactly the same as men. And in my, um, uh, in City Hall, the person that's the top person, my deputy mayor was a woman, and 40% of our commissioners were women. I am very proud of the fact that about two weeks ago, we were awarded uh, we were voted the uh, most f f the, the best place to work, second best place in America. If that doesn't say something about our employees and how happy they are, I don't know what does. Senator Warren, you've been critical of Eric Lieber on this issue. Yes, I have, and I hope you've heard what his defense was. I've been nice to some women. on his record and what we need to know is exactly what's working out there he has gotten some number of women dozens who knows to sign non-disclosure agreements both for sexual harassment and for gender discrimination in the workplace so mr mayor are you willing to release all of those women from those non-disclosure agreements so we can hear their side of the story Non-disclosure agreements. Uh, how many is that? Finish. How many is that? None of them accuse me of doing anything other than maybe they didn't like the joke I told. And let me just put, and let me put, there's a be agreements between two parties that wanted to keep it quiet, and that's up to them. They sign those agreements, so, and we'll live with it. So wait, when you say it is up to, I just want to be clear. Some is how many? And, and when you and when you say they signed them and they wanted them, if they wish now to speak out and tell their side of the story about what it is they allege, that's now okay with you? You're releasing them on television tonight? Senator, no. Is that right? Senator, tonight? Senator, the company and somebody else, in this case, the man or woman, or could be more than that, they decided when they made an agreement that they wanted to keep it quiet for everybody's no. interest. They signed the agreements and that's what we're going to do. I'm sorry. Sure. No, the question is, are the women question. bound by being muzzled by you? And you could release them from that immediately because understand, this is not just a question of the mayor's character. This is also a question about electability. We are not going to be Donald Trump with a man who has who knows how many non-disclosure agreements and the drip, drip, drip of stories of women saying they have been harassed and discriminated against. That's not what we do as Democrats. Mr. Vice President, let's get something straight here. It's easy. All the mayor has to do is say, you are released from the non-disclosure agreement. Period. Talk about, we talk about transparency here. This guy got himself in trouble, but he begins just saying that he would, there was a non, that he couldn't disclose what he did. He went to his company. He specifically now I got knows it. about the list of clients. No, 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 But he said, he went to the company and said, I want to be released. I want to be able to do it. Look, this is about transparency from the very beginning, whether it's your health record, whether it's your taxes, whether whether you have cases against you, whether or not people have signed non-disclosure agreements. You think that women, in fact, were ready to say, I don't want anybody to know about what you did to me. That's not how it works. The way it works is they say, look, this is what you did to me. And the mayor comes along and his attorney said, I will give you this amount of money if you promise you'll never say anything. That's how it works. 
said we're not going to get to end these agreements because they were made consensually and they have every right to expect that they will stay private. If they want to release it, they should be able to release themselves. Go ahead, go ahead, Say yes. You know, we talk about electability.